back at it with another five note pattern. Uh, in this case, saxophones, we did the one sharp, we did the no sharps, we did the one flat, we did the two flats. So we've been starting to add flats, right? Up in one flat land, if you look on the screen, oh, I zoomed in too much. Um, if you look up at the screen, one flat land, we had just B flat for B to Gassif. Um, and then in the two, two flat game, I'm just way too zoomed in. Hold on. Okay, there we go. And then when we get back to the two flat game, right? Two flat game, we had B and E from B to Gassif. Um, but now we're about to do the first three flats, B, E, and A. So notice here, check, take a look at concert A flat, the last one we did. The first note is B flat. You know, B to Gassif, B, E. So we look at our fourth note, B flat, C, D, E flat. That's the second flat. So now we're gonna take this E flat right here and we're gonna make that our first note, but an octave lower. We're gonna start on the low E flat. Still the same, one, two, three, four, five, six with the top right paddle, except no octave key this time, low E flat. And we see we have an extra flat, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Now I bet if we look at the fourth note, it's gonna be A flat, E flat, F, G, a flat wonderful this is the new note so your a flat is going to be simply one two three but then we're going to add this this shiny top paddle key let me see if i can zoom in see these three keys this is the the top the inside because it's closer to all this inside of the saxophone inside outside and bottom but for a flat it's going to be one two three top pinky okay and it sounds like this Sometimes if your saxophone isn't sounding correct, you see this one pad right here that's down. All the other all other tone holes stay up naturally. That's the top paddle key. So if you're moving this and that pad doesn't open, you got a sticky pad and all you have to do is turn the sax around and just pop it open and you're good to go. Um, so let's let's go through the scale. We have E flat, which is all six in the top right paddle key. F, you gotta lift up a bunch right to get to F. Then you go to G. Then to go to A flat, you just pinky it up, A flat. And then finally the top note's B flat, this. So when I play the scale, I like to have my, my, my finger up here, my first finger, my left hand already ready for this. So I'm gonna do that quicker. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat. Now you might have to do that like, 10 or 12 times to get the fingers working. I'll do it one more time. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat. Now I need you to practice the fingers, but also practice the reading. E flat, oop, I don't wanna mess it up. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, so on and so forth. Let's play this. Two, three, now at this point you're going to play the arpeggio which is pretty easy it's the first note the third note the fifth note the third note then the first note then you go down to the lower than that then back up so E flat, G, B flat, G, E flat. Just move the pinky to go to low D and then put the pinky back to go to E flat. And let me stand up so that you can see my fingers in action here too. <clears throat> the whole thing. G flat mini scale on the saxophone. Now we're gonna move over to clarinet land and do the same thing. So clarinets, we when we started our scale adventure, we started with no flats, and then we started through the bead gasif, which is of course one flat, which is B, two flats B and E, three flats B E and A. Um, but now that we're in concert G flat, you guys are gonna have four flats B E A and D flat bead we've spelled out all of bead okay so for what for reference as to what we're looking at i'm gonna have to move a couple things around in my document here because i just gotta reveal some of the screen and i'm gonna 
move myself out a little bit, move this screen over. Actually, I can move that over a bit. There, that's better. Okay, now I can grab my video, put that back over. I can grab my sweet JMS Conservatory of Music banner and put it back. Awesome, I'll lower it a little. Okay, so let's look at what happens when we play with four flats. Um, in this case, we have A flat, because where did that come from? Well, if we look at the last one, we had E flat, F, G, A flat. So we're gonna take this note right here, we're gonna put it down an octave and do the low version, which is this low A flat, which means we have a couple new notes to learn in this mini scale. So for this case, we have A flat, then we have another B flat, a C, and then the new note, B, D, D flat is right here. And then we go on E flat, D flat, C, B flat, A flat. So almost every note here is flat except for C. You're going to use the flat form of the note. Uh oh, my second monitor is being all iffy over here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's work on that one. Let's work on that first note. Low A flat is as follows. Thumb, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's very close to G, except we're gonna use this one right here. Tip, right? Not bip, but tip, the one that's a little bit closer to your third finger. Tip right here, top, inside, pinky. It should sound like this. And then hopefully you get that sound. A flat, and then we gotta pick up a lot of fingers to go to B flat, watch. A flat, and then you pick up everything but the first finger in that hand, B flat, okay? A flat. B flat, C. Now to do D flat, we're gonna use what we call the cute little pinky. It's very close to, this is my third finger, so it's the closest to that. Cute little pinky, okay? So once again, A flat, B flat, C. Cute little pinky for D flat. Now this is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go to E flat. So I'm gonna lift these two up and activate the side key, right? E flat. This is a tricky one. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. Then you go back down. D flat, C, B flat, A flat. Now I want you to do that several times until you've got those fingers mastered. It can be a little tricky. Do your best. I'm gonna play it for you. Practice letter naming. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. Two, A. Now, the arpeggio, A flat, C, E flat, C, A flat, then you go up to C, then you go to E flat, C, A flat, and then the last measures, A flat, G, A flat, all you gotta do is move the pinky, and that's right here. Uh, a flat, C, E flat, C, then it goes down to the next line. A flat, G, A flat. I'll play that for you. Ready? Now I'm gonna stand up so you can see my fingers and you can hopefully practice along with that. Here we go, the whole thing. Two, three. Oh, sorry. That was the arpeggio, the whole thing this time. Scale first, two, three. And that's your entire concert G flat scale. Now let's take a look at the flutes, the real crazy instrument. This, they, you know, flutes are gonna have, we started with one flat, I'm sorry, with two flats, and we went to three, then four, and five, now we're at six flats. Literally almost every note in the alphabet is flat. B, E, A, D, and G. B, D, G, S, and also a C. So that gets a little bit tricky in terms of what a C flat is. C flat's the same as B natural. Um, it's, it's a nice note, we're gonna learn that here now. Okay, 
flute. So let's look at the first note of our concert G flat scale. Remember that was the new note before in our five flat scale. You had G flat and then you made that the new one except we're gonna do an octave lower, right? Same fingering. It's still thumb one, two, three, six pinky except it's instead of it's it's the lower version. Um, so then what we have to do is we look at all the notes, G flat, A flat, B flat, and the new rule of fours, C flat, D flat, C flat, B flat, A flat, G flat. Literally every note's flat. So you have G flat, which is thumb, one, two, three, six, pinky, and then you go to A flat, which is thumb, one, two, three, pinky, pinky, and then you go to B flat, which is just thumb with the golf club key, pinky, and then C flat. Actually, you know what? In this scale, we are going to use uh, a different B flat, I believe. So it's, once again, it's G flat, A flat, and then we're going to do B flat like this. Thumb, one, four, pinky. That's a different way to play B flat. And this is why. And you're not going to use golf club key. Here's why. Because then you go from this, and you lift up this finger for B natural, or C flat, which is regular thumb and the first finger. So it's like All I got to do is lift this finger. So G flat, I'm going to move over. Thumb 1 2 3 6 pinky. And then A flat which is thumb 1 2 3 pinky pinky. And then I do B flat which is thumb, regular thumb, 1 4 pinky. And then I lift up finger four for just thumb one pinky for being natural. And then we know D flat is just the pinky. And then C, oh, I'm sorry, then B natural. Then put four back down. Then thumb one, two, three, pinky, pinky. And then thumb one, two, three, six, pinky. Here's this whole thing with slow-mo. Slow letter is flat. Now the arpeggio. G flat, B flat, D flat, B flat, G flat, F natural, G flat, F is the only note that's natural. So it's G flat. Now on this B flat you can use the one from the scale or you can just use your normal your normal thumb B flat. The only time you use this fancy thumb one four B flat is when you have something that you know like a C flat or a B natural right after it. So you can use either. So G flat, B flat, D flat, B flat, G flat, F, G flat. All right, I'll play the whole thing for you. Ready? Oh, I gotta do the right one. everything. Thank you.
Hey there, Rhythm Pals. This is chart 9.5, line 2. Go ahead and get it up. Um, pause the video if you need to. And let's get started. I don't know why I have this flute right now. I don't need it yet. Okay, so you'll see it on the bottom of the screen there. It's also up here. And I'm going to write in the counts. So the first measure, easy peasy, right? We have a big one and two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? In the first measure. All right, now measure number two. Remember, we have our dotted quarter note. Our dotted quarter note gets one and a half beats. Why? Because it has a dot, right? A dot adds half the value of the note before it. So, one plus half of one is one and a half, right? So, three pulses, right? One, okay? Let's go ahead and write in a big one. A little and, a little two, a big and, okay? So one and, right? And then we have a half note, so big three, little four, okay? I need to get some new markers. Sorry if these are kind of faint. Um, all right, I got some nice sunlight there. What a good basking spot if you're a lizard. Okay, so we have the next one. The next measure, which is measure number seven on the on the bottom there, all right, this is um, the third measure of the line, is the same or different as measure six. Measure seven is the same or different as measure six. Exactly the same. Good, so write it in. You got a big one, little and, little two, big and, big three, little four. And then measure eight, all quarter notes. First measure we ever learned. Super easy. Okay. Let's go ahead and count just just measure five, the first measure there of the line. One, two, count, ready, go. One and two, three, four. Good. Easy enough, right? Now let's look at measure six, the second measure of the line. So we have one and three. Say that. One, two, ready, Go. One and three. Good. Do count the pulses on your fingers. One, two, tap your feet. Ready, go. One and three. Good. Count that twice now, okay? Because it's two times in a row. One, two, count it twice. Ready, go. One and three. One and three. Good. And we're just going to add this one in on the end. So let's count the entire line, whole line. Ready? One, two, count the whole line, go. One and two, three, four. One and three. One and three. One, two, three, four. I messed up a little there. My bad. Let's try it one more time. Count the whole thing. One, two, whole thing, ready, go. One and two, three, four. One and three. One and three. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, let's all to it. To it, do it, see it, whatever you do for your instrument. Ready? One, two, ready, to it, go. Two, 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 two. Okay, you remember sizzling? All right, let's sizzle. Ready? We did this last time. Right? Sizzle rhythm. One, two, sizzle. Ready? Go. I didn't need that marker anyway. All right, everybody play it. Flutes, trombone, baritone, play it on D as in dog. Uh, saxophones, B as in banana. And clarinet, trumpet, E as in elephant. Ready? And play it. One, two, ready.
good job. If you need to go back and do that again, go back and do that again. Um, and if not, then awesome. And let's do the next thing. too many measures and it's quite repetitive you're just going to play the whole thing twice but it is a little tricky just because of, of the speed of this entire thing so i'm going to walk through both instruments i'm going to start with saxes look there's an f sharp here be careful one thing i want to point out this is forte so it needs to be loud but never louder than lovely uh second thing is this little thing right here of course we know that's called an accent which means we're going to emphasize the note. Now there's quite a few eighth notes going on here. We're gonna take two measures, three, four measures, whatever, we're gonna break it down in little chunks. So sax says, let's look right here. G, A, C, B, A, D, D. We're just gonna do those three measures. I wanna count it. Only count the two, because you're in two, four. Everybody go ahead and count the rhythm. Two, ready, count. One, one and two and one, two. And you just really emphasize that. So it was sizzled, so that way you can hear the air. And you really just bring it home. I gotta bring my mic out, I totally forgot. Okay, all right, let's try this. Ready? I'm gonna play it, you let her name along too, for both instruments too. Ready? <laughs> right, and you just give it lots of air on those two quarter notes. Now for clarinet, same rhythm, same emphasis, different notes. C, D, F, E, D, G, G. In both Gs, let's get a little more oomph. Let's look at the third, uh, sorry, the fourth and the fifth measure. I'll stay on clarinet. G, A, E, F, D, D. Of course, it's the same rhythm as the previous two measures, just with different notes. G, A, E, F, D, D. It can be a little tricky. G to A, E to F. Let's try it again. Oh. For saxophone friends, same thing. A little tricky, but not too bad. D, E, B, C, A, A. So we're going to go ahead and put all those measures together. Let's do the first five. Everybody sizzle along. Two, three. Okay, that's not bad. Let's shoot forward uh, right here. This big string of eighth notes. A, C, B, A, G. I just want to practice that. One and th two and one. That much for clarinet. D, F, E, D, C, three, and go. Ready, again. Now, play the first two notes of the first ending. Ready, again. So for saxes, that's G, G, clarinets at C, C. Okay, now, the next couple notes. G, G, F sharp for saxes. Use your middle finger in the right hand. G, G, F sharp, E, D. Just goes right down the scale. Right? Not bad. Clarinets, C, C, B natural. Make sure you use the middle finger. A, G. Right? Now, this is the big leap up. Clarinets go from low G all the way up to high F. C, C, B, A, G. Just the thumb for F. 
Try that a couple times. Ready? Uh, again. And for saxes, it's very similar. G, G, F sharp, E, D, C, just the middle finger. Right? And then from there. D, C, B, A, for saxes, or G, F, E, D, for the clarinet folk. So then if you take that whole chunk and put it together, we're going to play from the beginning through the first ending. And you do the whole thing again. So now we're going to look at that second ending. Doom bum 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 G D A B G G This is really just going to be a matter of doing it a thousand times. This is just repetition. It's not hard. But it is tricky on the fingers at first. For clarinets, C, G, D, E, C, C. Ooh. Right? And that's all it is. So then you want to road map this thing. You do measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. So we're going to run through the whole thing. Feel free to use this as a practice track as many times as you need to get it right. Two, ready. <laughs> And you just keep going from there. Mastery, sir, that sounds great.